We hear a lot about pivoting your business during the pandemic, but what does that really look like for your business? Well, let's talk to someone who's actually done it. Her name is Ashley Stefanko, and she is a professional organizer and creator of Home Reimagined. Well, truth be told, I know Ashley's story pretty well because we've been working together when she's been a member of the RevUp Society. And what I love about her story are the internal pivots that she's made. Ashley, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks, Mary. What was happening in your business before COVID, BC? I would go into my clients' homes and help them organize their stuff, um, kind of declutter what they want to declutter, area, um, areas in their home that was giving them problems and headaches. Um, and just basically help them de-stress their life. But then the pandemic happened, and what was your biggest challenge then? Um, well, obviously, people weren't really leaving their home, but they also did people coming into their home. And right. so um, April and May, pretty much very quiet with my business and clients. So as a result of that, what changes, what pivots, what adjustments did you make for you to stay in business? Well, I really shifted my client focus. I started virtual organizing with a couple of clients out of state, um, which was a new venture for me, um, something I've been thinking about, but it was really a great time to start that, um, which was very different. And I love hands-on helping people, but it's also nice to um, you know, have a new client base outside of Richmond um, and be able to, to help people, just not with the actual physical moving of things. Now, I know you had some other pivots and adjustments and things that you did. What were those? I really took this time to focus um, on my own business and growing that and um, really putting some efforts in areas that I just really hadn't had the time. Um, I started, you know, kind of putting more um, efforts and um, beefing up my social media campaigns, mm -hmm. um, started e-newsletters, which is something that's been on my to-do list for a long time, and just really focusing on on my, running my business. I got to think that, you know, making those adjustments probably wasn't the easiest thing to do. How's it working? Um, it's working really well. I found actually through the RevUp Society, I found some great resources. It was nice to have that um, RevUp Society, the support, even just the communication with other people. And if I came through challenges, um, you know, just having some because I'm in business for myself, so it's hard to kind of, you know, bounce ideas off of people. So that was really helpful um, to have the group of supportive ladies. The work that you did to pivot while the shutdown really happened and you couldn't do it, has it paid off in your business as you're able to now resume to get into people's homes? Oh, definitely. Being in business to yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, success, I think. Um, I love what I do and I love having my own business and helping people. And so, you know, it wasn't a choice for me to give up. And so I just had to figure out how to make it work. Um, you know, Virginia is a little bit more, I guess, open. Um, I've had, I've been going back into people's homes um, for a while now because they are um, pretty much at their wit's end as far as everybody's home all the time. And so it's just, people are looking at their house in a totally different way because they've they're kind of like nesting and sprucing up. And then they're, you know, they realize because they're not going to work or the kids aren't in school, like the clutter is really um, affecting people just with anxiety and depression and things like that. I just want people to love their home and it should be a place of peace and serenity at the end of the day. And so when people's homes are not in order, it really stresses people out. And so um, yeah, well, great company name, Home Reimagined, right? We all need to have been reimagining our homes. And you said we have comfort at the end of the day. But really, it's at the beginning, the middle, and the end now because so many people are spending right. time at home. Hey, if we've got to wrap up, but if there's one piece of advice amongst many that you could give to someone who is looking to pivot their business or in the midst of it, what would it be? Um. I mean, I hate to be cliche, but, you know, my advice is just do it. You got to grow and change or else, you know, you're, gonna, you're not going to um, stay in business. And so I, I feel like business owners and entrepreneurs are a different breed of people anyway. And so, you know, if you're passionate about it um, and you have, you know, I guess a comfort level and, um just a, a knowing that people need your services, it's just, it's worth putting in the extra money and time and effort um, and it will pay off in the long run. Well, what you said earlier, you said you were determined 
to stay in business. And that was at the, you know, in the beginning of kind of the shutdown. So you spoke to that. And I'm so glad that you being part of Rev Up Society has helped you get all the way through. And I'm thrilled on uh, where you're at now. Thanks so much for sharing your pivot story today. Great. Thanks so much to you and Rev Up Society too.